Hey guys, got a little minutes to do. Uh, we're, we're coming up on Juneteenth. I want to talk about who Lincoln was. And this whole Juneteenth movement, in many ways, obscures the facts of how slavery ended. Many people give Lincoln credit for ending slavery. Uh, he signed the Emancipation Proclamation. That doesn't mean he freed the slaves. So it really set a trap for many Blacks. Many Blacks were freed who were uneducated, had no means of taking care of themselves. Uh, rarely do history, does history reflect the fact that many died in, 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 as a result of starvation, not being able to fend for themselves. The 40 acres and a mule was an afterthought. So it shows you that there was really no real forethought on Lincoln's part to end slavery. Now his rival, on the other hand, Jefferson Davis, which again, you know, the 21st century is starting to roll back some real history that we weren't privy to earlier because the history books didn't tell us. But if you read about Jefferson Davis, Jefferson Davis, along with his brother, Joseph Davis, had plantations. Their, their plantations were right next to each other. And um, the things that they practiced were, for example, making sure that all of their slaves were educated. All of their slaves were educated, could read and write. He brought in uh, teachers. He brought in their own preacher for their church. They had their own jury. They, when they were tried for wrongdoing, it was from a jury of their own peers. He's been known to bow to slaves. He was very um, respectful to his slaves. And that's the way you end uh, something that's been ingrained in people, such as slavery, um, that's the way you, you, you gradually end it. You don't end it in the way that slavery ended. You know, the abolition movement, it was very radical. It was very sudden. And as a result, it, it threw many uh, Blacks into a horrible state because many of them weren't educated. Jefferson Davis's slaves were educated. They could read and write. And as far as history shows, they fared very well. He, but Lincoln, on the other hand, Lincoln, on the other hand, did not care about the slaves. He did not care about slavery. It became politically important to him because, the, yes, there were the abolitionists and the, the country was sort of uh, making an outcry that slavery should end. And uh, Lincoln, the man who actually freed the slaves, wanted nothing to do with the slaves. He wanted to send them back to Africa. That He was a big proponent for that. So he was no friend of the slave. Let's get that straight. Let's let's let, that's a revelation. It's a revelation to me because I grew up um, reading the history books and thinking that Lincoln was a hero. So Juneteenth really is not the thing to be celebrated. Uh, it just celebrates uh, more or less the signing of a document. But if you just peel back the layers a little bit, you'll see that um, it did not. Uh, give freedom. As a matter of fact, it set Blacks on a long uh, trajectory of of just wandering, trying to work our way back into uh, a society that had, you know, pretty much captured Blacks and brought them to this country um, and taken away all of their resources. Um, so, I don't celebrate Juneteenth. Um, I it's sort of a mockery to tell the truth about it of of freedom, and um, I would like to see true freedom in the form of economic freedom. So all of these holidays, all of these movements are really um, they're not embedded in any real in in reality or truth. Um, and they just sort of reinforce a narrative that uh, has been false and wrong throughout the generations. And it's 21st century. It's time we wake up and understand uh, the truth. Okay, I'm not going to make this that long. I want to uh, let you know where you are. This is Let's Talk. Um, I talk about um, mostly people living off the grid, the homeless crisis that has been allowed to persist. And uh, we've got all these movements, which are basically red herrings to steer us away from that real crisis that no one wants to discuss. Um, so I hope you got something out of this video. If you did so, I hope you will like it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. 
and I will talk to you soon. Until next time, peace.